What up nerds? My name is Leslie. Welcome to the Nerdy Narrative. And on this channel, I like to talk about all sorts of bookish related things in the science fiction, fantasy, horror, and manga genres. And in today's episode of fun, I am going to present to you my January 2021 TBR. I will start with my indie self pub authors. The first one I plan to read is Scattered Little Pieces by Wayne Finland. This is a collection of stories called Drabble. And Drabble are stories that are only a hundred words long. I'm so excited to get into this. This will be my first reading experience with Drabble, but Scattered Little Pieces is a collection of a hundred word stories of twists and unexpected endings. Funny, sad, poignant, shocking, and sometimes absurd. You'll want to read them twice. Sometimes little things are so much more. So I'm really excited to get into this one. So my next indie author book is Starving Ghost in Every Thread by Eric LaRocca. He sent me his arc, A Bright Enchanted Suffering to read and review. And he also included this one because I was telling him I had heard so many people talking about this book and how good it was. So he included a copy for me. He didn't ask me to review it or anything like that. I, of course, am more than happy to do so because like I said, I've heard so many great things about it. So I am looking forward to reading this for myself. I first heard about this author from my friend Sharon, who's in Shelf Space. She also started her own channel, which I'll have linked below. Sharon has read a lot of the same horror books as I have. So she knows my taste and she told me she really loved this one and she knew that I would too. So my next indie author book is Chapel Street by Sean Paul Murphy. I really wanted to read this one in December. I am so intrigued by this story. This is actually based on the author's real life occurrences. He lived in this haunted house. He also has a blog about his experiences. I am so excited to read this. I do regret that his family and he experienced traumatic events that led to the writing of this novel but I do believe he wrote it for our enjoyment and I am 100% excited to read this book. So that will take care of my indie author reads. Next up, let's talk about reads I'm going to be doing with other channels. The first one is The City of Stairs by Robert Jackson Bennett. This is the Shelf Space book club pick for January. I'm going to have Shelf Space linked below. That is run by Jessie May. She has a phenomenal channel. Y'all definitely, if you haven't checked her out, check her out down below. You will love her. But this is the book that was chosen for January. I'm looking forward to discovering Robert Jackson Bennett for the first time. I've heard so much about Foundry Side and Shorefall that I have those on my list, but this one is a shelf space book club. So that's why I'm getting to it first. I'm looking forward to it. This one and this one has a very soft place in my heart because it was a gift to me from my friend Sharon. So I am very much looking forward to reading this one. The next channel buddy read that I'm going to be participating in is the Malazan series with Mike's book reviews. This one is getting kicked off in January. I believe the current schedule is we will do one book per two month period because they are a little bit bigger. I know it doesn't look really big. The font is kind of tiny. I might need some stronger readers to see it, but Mike has given us ample time to take our time with these reads. I've heard they are very involved. I'm looking forward to starting the series. I've been watching all of the content that Andy Smith, Philip Chase, and Alan from Library of Alan Zandry have put out regarding Malazan. So I'm excited to get into this author and series for the first time. So the next one I'm really excited about. This is something new that I started in January with my patrons. Every month I'm going to have a drawing and I'm going to draw a name of one of my patrons. If you are in the Bridge Crew tier, your name goes in once. If you're in the Nerds Radiant tier, your name goes in twice. If I draw your name, you get to choose any book you want for me to read and review on the channel for that month. So in January, my first pick was Tyler and Tyler chose Only the Good Indians by Stephen Graham Jones. This is a book that has been on my list all year since I've been hearing about it. I have heard 
so many wonderful things about this book. So I am very much looking forward to reading this one. The next book I do not have the physical copy of, but I will be reading Crime and Punishment. So a couple of months ago, a bunch of my really good friends had a read along where they read Crime and Punishment and they really enjoyed it. I enjoyed watching and listening to their vlogs and their analysis and discussions, but they're, they're just, I just kept feeling like it might be a little outside my grasp because it sounds like there is a lot that the reader needs to be able to infer and so I thought, you know, I'm just not smart enough to be able to read it and enjoy it while also getting the point of what the author is trying to tell me about the story. So it kind of scared me off. I was kind of on the edge about reading it, but nobody really said anything to make me topple over into deciding to read it until Rich started reading it in Discord. And he and Stephanie from Miss Richard's Read started talking about it. And I said, well, hey, do you want me to make you guys a channel so y'all can chat about it? And he was like, yeah, that'd be great. So once I made the channel and Rich started putting in his thoughts as he was reading Crime and Punishment and was conversing with Una and Christy and Stephanie, I found myself all of a sudden interested. Watching him unfold the story as he went, I thought, you know, so I succumbed and I decided I am going to read Crime and Punishment so mark that one up for January. So if you've read Crime and Punishment and you want to see what I think as I read it, there is a channel in my Discord which I have linked below if you want to join in. Or if you want to read Crime and Punishment with me, please do. I would love to have someone else experience the journey with me. Next up, I plan to read The Crimson Campaign by Brian McClellan. This is book two in the Powder Mage trilogy. The first one I read last month promise of blood that was a shelf space book club pick for december but ramsey from rajathon and one of my patrons tyler both read this trilogy and really enjoyed it so i knew that i was gonna love it too because those two those two guys if they like it we have very very similar reading tastes i knew i would like it too so i will be continuing this trilogy in january i did things a little backwards when I discovered Brandon Sanderson, I started with the Stormlight Archive. So 2020, I read The Way of Kings, Warbreaker, Words of Radiance, Edge Dancer, Oathbringer, Dawn Shard, and Rhythm of War. And from what I understand, Rhythm of War had a whole lot of tie-ins from the rest of the Cosmere that I didn't get because I haven't read it. So 2021, that changes guys. I'm going to be working my way through the Cosmere. I was talking to Michael Nip about it and we decided I'm going to start with Elantris. So in January, I will be reading Elantris and in continuing the world that Elantris is set in, I will be continuing that Cosmere journey in January with the novella, The Emperor's Soul, which I have in the Arcanum Unbounded. I will be following it up finally with Mistborn starting in February. So the final book that is on my January TBR is due to Abby Salter and Jashana. There was a conversation that took place in the World Hoppers Discord a while back and it just erupted and it was hilarious. It resulted in me having to read House of Earth and Blood by Sarah J Maas this will be my first Sarah J Mass book. I know that Alan had to unfortunately read one earlier in 2020. So I am going to experience her writing for the first time in this little novel and see what all the fuss is about. I, people generally love her or hate her. I don't know anything about her. I am looking forward to it just a little bit, almost as if I hope that I get to hate read it. But watch me love it, guys. Watch me love it and then have to go and read all of her work and eat my words. So I totally forgot, for science fiction, I will be continuing my journey through the Expanse series. I'm gonna be reading the Expanse short story, The Butcher of Anderson Station by James S.A. Corey. It seems that between each of the books in the Expanse series, they have a short story or novella that are only available on Kindle. So I picked up this little short story because you know what? If I'm going to read the series, I might as well read all of it. That will be one of my short stories that I'll include in the month of January. And let's see. So for manga in January, Una from the Codex Cantina and I have planned to read 
Orin High School Book Club. I don't have those volumes yet because I checked those out from my library, but I'll be getting my hands on those really soon to get started. So, uh, so I will have those ready to go on January 1st. So I'm looking forward to checking out that manga. I have noticed those volumes on a few booktuber shelves. So that tells me it must be really good. So I'm looking forward to that. All right, guys, that'll do it. That is everything I'm planning to read for the month of January. And so if you read any of these, let me know down in the comments below what you thought about it. Are you excited to hear about any of these? Let me know that too. If there are any of these that you're also planning to read and you want to buddy read them with me, hit me up in Discord. I'll be happy to start a channel so we can chat as we read along. Guys, thank you so much for watching. I hope your morning has gotten off to a great start. Have a fantastic rest of your day and I'll see you soon.